It's been two months since the Cheonghwa District was open to the public. Let's examine the changes that have occurred since the opening of the road. What if the rigid limitations of time and workplace could be alleviated for Korean workers? Learn more about the flex time system in Korea. Spreading hope through music. Find more about the United Nations Staff Recreation Council singers and their first visit to South Korea. Experience the talent of the up-and-coming choreographer Jung Se-young, whose creative spirit pushes the boundaries of contemporary dance. On the evening of June 26th, the heavy iron gate blocking the road in front of the Cheongwadae was opened. First Lady Kim Jong-suk took a wonderful evening stroll in the company of 50 civilians. This road in front of South Korea's presidential office was completely open to the public for the first time in 50 years. The Cheongwadae Street is now open to the public around the clock. What kinds of changes will this road lead to? It's been two months since the road in front of the Cheongwadae opened. The number of visitors have doubled since the opening with an average of 4,000 people visiting the site every day. The section that is being opened up is the Cheongwadae Street, which runs from Chunchugwan on the east to the plaza and fountain on the west. This road is approximately 0.3 mile and had been closed off to the public since 1968. Since the North Korean commandos attempted raid on the Cheongwadae, the road has been restricted to the public 24 hours a day with strengthened security. The road was open to the public again in 1993 but only from 5.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. Also, inspections were carried out five checkpoints dotted along the road. Palpandong is a small village located next to the Cheongwadae. The residents of the area grew accustomed to the rigid and strict atmosphere of the Cheongwadae over the last 50 years. The locals had to take a longer route to avoid inspections that caused stress for no reason. 이렇게 새끼리 있거든요. 여기 옛날 동네라 이런 골목으로 다니고 그랬죠. It wasn't just a road that had been restricted to the public, but the entire premises of the Cheongwadae with strict security. However, the road was finally opened after a long 50 years, and the checkpoints were replaced with traffic control posts, indicating changes to come. 얼마 전까지만 해도 빈집들이 좀 있었는데 최근 들어 다 빈집들이 다 없어졌어요. 매매가 되고 새로운 주인 들어오고 이사 오고 그래 가지고 거의 빈집이 없어진 것 같아요, 이제는. Citizens enjoying a refreshing walk alongside Gyeongbokgung Palace and a tree-lined street. They look pretty relaxed. That's not all. People are also allowed to take photos from any angle toward the presidential office now. Previously, photo taking had been restricted to specific spots that were heavily monitored. Plus, the surrounding area had become much more vibrant. Um, it's a beautiful president's house with beautiful grounds. Um, we haven't seen anything like this in Asia. Um, we're very happy to be here. 
청와대 하면 저희랑은 아무 관련이 없는 그 TV 속의 공간인 것 같았는데 와보니까 좀더 친밀해진 것 같고 현 정부에 대해서도 조금 호의적인 마음이 더 많이 생긴 것 같습니다. The Chongwa-dae s a r a n g c h e is a historical memorial museum located on the west end of Chongwa-dae. The museum shows the history of South Korea combined with traditional culture and a list of South Korean presidents. Here, visitors can enjoy a unique day full of fun. They take photos on a set modeled after the Chongwa-dae presidential office. Become bodyguards who protect the president and take action photos at the VR zone in the Chongwa-dae. It's becoming a new cultural destination for people of all ages and genders. 집무실 간접 경험하는 그런 것도 너무 좋았고 띠 뛰기 하는 것도 너무 좋았고 전체적으로 많이 이렇게 우리나라를 알리려는 의도가 많이 보여서 오길 참 잘했다는 생각이 들어요. There is another group of people who feel closer to the government. It's the protesters around the Chongwa-dae water fountain near the entrance of the Chongwa-dae who hope to make their voices heard. With President Moon's vow to stay closer to the public, now they can express their opinion more freely. 아주 일상 서민인 배우지 못한 사람들이 어떻게 희생양이 되겠습니까? 바로 잡아 주십시오. 청와대 앞이고 상징적인 곳이고 억울함을 갖다가 호소하고자 이렇게 나왔습니다. For a refreshing walk or to make their voices heard, dozens of people paid a visit to the Chongwa-dae today as well. The lifting of the night curfew keeps drawing people to the site deep into the night. Beyond easier and freer access to the Chongwa-dae, this change is sure to cause a significant chain reaction. 대통령과의 거리가 좀더 가까워진 것 같고 더 소통할 수 있는 공간으로 발전됐으면 좋겠어요. All eyes are on the Chongwa-dae, anticipating positive changes that the Moon Jae-in administration will bring about in the history of Korea together with the public. Flex time is a flexible hour schedule that allows workers to alter workday, start and finish times according to their needs. Let's take a look at how flex time has changed the lives of Korean people. In the morning, Lee Da Hae and her family have breakfast. For Lee Da Hae and her husband, this time in the morning with her children, a second grader and a kindergartner, is the best moment of the day. 어린이집에서 어 낮잠 자기 싫어 자고 싶어. 싫어. 자기 싫어? 어? 그 전에는 이제 아무래도 아내가 서울까지 출근을 해야 되니까 거의 뭐 아침 못 먹고 가는 경우도 많고 저도 아침에 바쁠 때도 있는데 애들 챙기는 정신 없을 때도 있고 그 문제 실시하고부터는 거의 뭐 이렇게 같이 밥을 먹고 또 이제 아내가 대다 주니까 저는 훨씬 여유가 있고. After the meal. Ida Hae gets her children ready for school and kindergarten. Anyang is a satellite city surrounding Seoul, about a one-hour journey to Seoul by public transport. Before her company introduced the flex time system, Ida Hae had to be at her office in Seoul by 9 a.m. Of course, her children had to leave home when she left for work. 아침에 한 일곱 시 되면 이제 잠도 안깬 상태로 데려다 주니까 많이 울어, 울었거든요. 근데 지금은 좀 시간 여유가 되니까 네, 좋은 것 같아요. These days, however, Ida Hae works 10 to 7 at her office in Seoul. Also, she works at a smart office near her home about once a week. 
군포 쪽에 저희 스마트 워크 센터가 따로 있어요. 그래서 이제 금요일이나 매주 이제 일회 정도는 그쪽에서 갈 수, 이제 일할 수 있도록 그 저희 리더분들이 좀 배려를 해주셔서 그쪽에서 좀 편하게 근무하고 이제 사실 저 차로 한 20분밖에 안 걸리거든요. 그래서 굉장히 좀 편하게 근무를 하고 있습니다. Ida has company introduced flex time in 2011, and about half of the employees benefit from the system. Beyond altering their workday start and finish times, some work from their home or mobile offices near their houses without limitations of time and place. 사실 제가 회사를 그만두게 되면 경력 단절이 또 생기는 부분이 있고 또 제가 다시 어떤 회사를 또 취직을 할수 있을지 좀 그런 자신감도 좀 부족하고 그러다 보니까 아좀 버텨야겠다 힘들어도 이런 생각을 좀 했던 것 같고요. 이 제도 사용하면서 그런 마음은 많이 없어진 것 같아요. Of course, concerns were raised in the beginning regarding employees' time out of the office. Therefore, they came up with core time, the period in a flex time system when all employees must be present. 회의 시간 같은 경우에도 10시 이후에 회의를 할수 있도록 그렇게 하고 퇴근 시간도 저희가 어닌 5시 이전에 어떤 회의들이 다 끝날 수 있도록 회사 차원에서 그런 회의 문화를 개선하는 데 노력을 많이 해 왔습니다. 그래서 많이 정착이 됐고요. According to a recent survey conducted by the Korea Chamber of Commerce and Industry, 97% said flex time helps them balance their work and life, and 96% said it increased job satisfaction. Now, male time employees make the most of flex time as well. This system helps employees strike a balance between work and life, and also gives them greater opportunities for self-improvement. Pek Sang-gi is a 48-year-old general manager. He utilizes flex time too. He starts his work at 9.30 a.m. and leaves the office at 6.30. After work, he goes to the park for his final preparation for his upcoming triathlon race. Before the introduction of flex time, Pek Sang-gi's life was almost solely centered on work. But now, he can use his time more effectively and enjoy his life to the fullest. The government accelerates the move with full support. It provides small businesses with funds to build infrastructure for mobile offices according to the number of employees. Despite the government support, Korea still has a long way to go. Most of all, Korean companies should change their perception of flex time working. 제도 도입 검토나 설계 단계부터 직원들의 의견을 수렴하는 절차를 거쳐서 직원들이 제도를 거부감 없이 받아들이고 사용할 수 있도록 지원하는 기업의 노력이 필요합니다. 제도는 도입하더라도 대면 보고 중심의 업무 관행이나 장시간 회의와 같은 기존의 근로 관행이 유지된다면 유연 근무 제도가 제대로 정착하기는 힘들 것입니다. A better work-life balance makes room for creativity for employees, thus enhancing the quality of work, concentration, and productivity. Let's see if flex time takes root in Korea and results in a win-win situation for both companies and employees. On the 26th, a flight from New York landed in the Incheon International Airport with very special guests. Who are these non-Koreans leaving the arrival hall? It's the United Nations Staff Recreation Council Singers. This choir sings for the peace and harmony of the world. Let's zoom in on their first ever performance in South Korea. Camp Greaves is located within a restricted area for civilians. It is the only return place within the DMZ after U.S. Army force withdrawal 
and the UNSRC singers paid a visit to this place. Korea is the only divided country remaining in the world, and the choir is witnessing the division of Korea in the DMZ. How do they feel about it? I'm really excited to see, you know, I mean, it's, it's also a very sad place because of the history, because it's, it's divided, you know, the country in two, and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a sad experience, but it reminds us of how much we have to work towards peace and towards uh, reunification in the Korean Peninsula. The UNSRC Singers was formed voluntarily by UN employees in the New York headquarters in 1947. The group travels around the world, visiting one or two countries every year, spreading the message of love and hope to the world through music. This is the choir's first visit to Korea since its establishment 70 years ago. The UNSRC Singers is giving the first concert series in Korea. This has huge significance for not only the Koreans, but also the singers themselves. The DMC zone is a very special meaning, not just for the Korean people, even for our people around the world and for us, because our main goal is to promote the peace through the music. And this particular venue means a lot of for us and we are touching and with an emotion to be here today. The members rehearsed and performed in their leisure time, outside of their office hours, despite their busy schedules. It's an old tradition and also a signature aspect of the choir. In their traditional garments, the choir members hope to inspire a sense of harmony and love for humanity with the aim of uniting the world. In our songs, in our costumes, in, in ourselves, and that's what it represents. That, you know, we are all, regardless of you know, our race, color, gener you know, generation, religion, etc., we're all just one. The concert has finally begun. The first piece was performed by the displaced people. They performed some of the most representative Korean folk songs, expressing their longing for their hometown in the north. Up next, the UNSRC Singers is on stage. The UNSRC Singers performed the Korean children's song, Spring in My Hometown, in Korean. It wasn't about the language, but rather their heartfelt sincerity that genuinely touched everyone in the audience and backstage. The choir also conveyed their wish for the peace and reunification of the Korean Peninsula through their collaborative performance with displaced people. After the UNSRC singers performed at the site of the division, all the conflicts that have existed throughout the world and and those that have been resolved it's good to have hope that they can be resolved in the future so it's 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 daunting actually to be in a place that's so symbolic of conflict and also symbolic of the hope for peace the audience is largely made of displaced people from North Korea they looked very touched indeed The UNSRC singers will be staying in Korea till September 5th to give four more concerts in four locations. 평화 통일을 위해서 앞으로 평양에서도 또 다른 더 좋은 곳에서도 의미가 있다면 합창을 통해서 전 세계 평화를 전달하는 그런 역할을 하고자 합니다. The UNSRC singers 
have been spreading the message of peace and harmony over the last 70 years in the name of music. Hopefully, their voices will touch and comfort those in the North and throughout the world as well. Pushing the boundaries surrounding choreography and choreographers, this artist is making a name for himself both in and outside of Korea. Let's learn more about his artistry. A theater in Tangno, Seoul. Someone is standing on stage alone. It's Chung Se Young. Bodily movements compose only a small part of Chung Se Young's dance. Instead, we see a steam rising from a boiling kettle or a pedestal fan falling to the floor, making a strange noise. This Deus Ex Machina is a Latin calc meaning God from the machine. And through the piece, the artist questions the difference between traditional theater and the theater of today. 항상 작업할 때마다 매번 어렵긴 한데요. 같은 질문들을 계속 다르게 표현해야 되는 부분들이 있어서 거기에 대한 좀 어려움이 있는 것 같아요. Chung Se Young garnered mainstream attention after winning the first prize in the Seoul competition of the fifth Dance LRG in 2016, held in France and Korea simultaneously. 연극을 공부했었는데 어, 연극 공부하다가 무용을 공부하게 됐습니다. 사실 뭐 안무가라기보다는 그냥 공연하는 사람 정도인 것 같아요. Chung Se Young says he's still not very comfortable with his new title, choreographer. This artist initially specialized in drama and stage art. Thanks to his unique educational background, his choreography presents a beautiful balance of drama, dance, and art. On the day of the performance in Taeyangno, once the seating begins, the audience fills the venue. The performance is held in the presence of many renowned dancers from in and outside of Korea. Chung Se Young performs his home piece, Deus Ex Machina. The artist makes various prop stands, including a kettle and electric fan. Chung Se Young depicts motion not only with his bodily movements, but also using props. 올라가려는 행위, 상승하려는 행위들을 계속 이어왔는데 이번에는 랜딩, 랜드, 착륙한다, 그리고 혹은 하강하다 이런 식의 개념들이 들어와서 어떻게 올라갔으면 어떻게 내려올 것인가에 관해서 좀더 고민하게 되었습니다. The audience, including choreographers and dance experts, returns the wonderful performance with an enthusiastic applause. How did the audience enjoy the piece? Chung Se Young left a lingering impression on the audience through his unique perspective.
앞으로도 항상 극장에 관련된 그리고 뭐 퍼포먼스에 관련된 작업들을 계속 할 예정이고요. 아직 풀지 못한 이야기 어, 생각들도 좀 있는 것 같고 그래서 그런 것들에 관련해서 계속 작업을 이어나갈 생각입니다. 정세영 tries to incorporate the stage and props into his artistry to push the boundaries of dance. His endless creativity and inspiration leaves us anticipating his future endeavors.